meanwhile we've got this ship coming really close to us. Uh, what is this? Is that another? I think it might be another one of these. E-Class. Range is point blank. What are we at? 500, 600 meters, if that. 533 meters. Okay, we should be able to get the torpedo oh, yeah. armed in that time. Should be fine. I suppose we could do a speed check because they may have vaulted. The Empire Lancaster. Okay, I think they might have slowed down. That doesn't feel like six knots, does it? Or five and a half knots? That looks like that feels like three or four again. Four knots, there we go. Right, let's get her angle about. Okay, her angle about is 55. Let's get that locked in. There you go. Uh, she's doing four knots, four knots, lovely. Uh, she's um, right on top of us, so we can fire pretty much whenever. Fire now. Tube 3 has become available. Right, well, we've got another two ships back there. That one. Alright, fingers crossed. This should be a nice hit. I hope we're not too close. 500 meters should be enough to get it armed. Yeah, perfect. What's the damage? Serious damage, nice. It's got a gun and it's also got a radio on that one. This one is uh, fully armed, that one back there. Hmm. Okay. Tube 3, Flood. I think we might have another shot at this one. Because uh, she doesn't... No flush given. She's uh, happily going on her way. Let me just do her angle of bow again. Angle of bow is 72. What does that compute at? We've currently got it at almost 80. So let's... There you go, 73. Okay. So, flooded fire. Rather finish the damaged ones off than uh, get too much into it. Right, we're waiting for tube 5 to be preheated. Uh, sorry, tube 4. Second hit onto that ship. Now, hopefully, that's the end of her. Fire's breaking all the out all round. I think that'll be her demise.
Okay, next one. It looks like we've got another. Uh, where is it? I think we've just gone past it. E class. There we go. Looking good. Let's get this reset. Okay, angle about is 70. Got that set in. Let's get her range. At 700 meters, 770 meters. Good speed. We're going to have uh, four knots, as that's what the uh, the last one was. It's all locked in. Nice. It's ready to fire whenever we when we can. By looks of it. Cheap two. We'll load two torpedoes. Um, dispersion 7.5. Well, that seems a lot. Let's just bring that down a bit. Let's go 5.6. Fire. Torpedoes away. Okay, only one torpedo struck home, but she is burning at the front of the ship quite profusely. And you can see from the uh, the tail section, the stern of the ship is rising out of the water, which lets you know that she is taking on quite a bit of um, flooding in the front. Uh, that leaves that ship in the background there. And we've also got an Empire class ship here. Empire Tower that looks like. Alright, we've got only two torpedoes left it would seem. Possibly as a spare in the rear. I think that ship's gone. I think, yeah, she's gone. She's gone. She's sinking. Nice. Alright, let's target In fact, we could target this one. Okay, angle of for this one is 91. So, if we have a shot at this one, angle of is 91. Speed's going to be 4 knots. We'll keep that at that. Um, range... It's about 1,200 meters. Cheap one flood. Should have fired some time ago. Fire. Cheap one away. Okay, that torpedo just sailed behind. Just sailed behind. They've picked up their pace. Ah, okay. Okay, we're doing another speed check. What we've done, we've sailed on a little bit further ahead, then turned our... turned away, so we've got the stern tubes facing the, uh, the ships. Right. Let's go another measure. 178. Six knots. They're doing six knots, right? They're back up to speed doing six knots. And the angle about is 32. Right. So let's get this plugged in. Uh, we want to go to the rear tube. Lock on. Um, so we are going to be 32. If 
I can. There we go. 32. Perfect. Uh, six knots. Lovely. And we'll do range. 1400 meters. Right. Tube 5. Flood. And we've got a bit of time for that to tick around, so... Okay, let's do another range. She's got a little bit closer now. Thousand meters. Six knots, thousand meters. Rear torpedo tube. Almost ready to fire. No alert status, so they haven't rec seen the periscope. They think they've got away from us. Almost there. Almost there. Um, we then have this Empire Tower freighter. Where is she? Ah, she's coming straight at us, so we need to um, not hang around. Right, we can fire whenever we're ready. Tube 5 away. Well, we hit. Not a lot of damage, unfortunately. Um, and I don't think... Torpedo tube 5 is going to be reloaded anytime soon. That's a shame. That's a real shame. I don't fancy taking on her numerous guns with our deck gun to try and finish her off. If we can get this torpedo tube loaded quickly. Let's do a speed check because uh, see how that's affected her. Slow down to three knots. Right, tube five is being preheated. The angle has gone past the best shot, but we could still get uh, a shot in here. Come on. Meanwhile, that's almost right on top of us. Tube five, flood. Fire. Lord. Okay, she's starting... Oh, she just abandoned ship. She's starting to list now. It's taken a while. There's that Empire Tower. He's coming past us as well. I think she's abandoned ship. In which case, it should be safe to surface the boat and get the deck gun out on this Empire Tower. Right, moving the deck gun around. Boom, there's the Empire Tower. And you can see the stricken ship in the background as well. So we're going to try and... We've only got armor piercing, if you remember. They didn't have any high explosives in dock. So we fire along the waterline, try and get this one finished, and then maybe finish off the 
C3 or the E5 was it behind It's all going nicely at the water level Nice and calm today perfect deck gun conditions As I miss <laughs> Nice. I think she's sinking at the rear, isn't he? The stern is definitely lower in the water. Let's put a couple in that, the front. Make sure water's getting in the front as well. And then that be overwhelms the repair crews of the ship. And they're forced to abandon. That was a bit long, that one. Okay, I think that's that Empire Tower finished off. So I think we go and finish off the uh, ship over there. Okay, the Empire Tower has slipped beneath the waves. Now it's just time to finish this one off. Oh, there you go. That was a great shot. The mast went down. This one's already had two torpedoes. It shouldn't take much just to... Tip it over the edge. That fire itself was probably enough to uh, finish that ship off. <laughs> Cheers go up! Can only signal the sinking of this large merchant vessel. Fantastic! What a day! And as she slips beneath the waves, that's it. The small convoy has been cleared completely. We have used all our torpedoes. Um, we are out, and our deck gun is the only remaining uh, attack we have. So um, I think it's time to head back to base in La Rochelle for some tea and medals. And four days later, we see the beautiful lights of home. Here is La Rochelle, our home port. We're back. Time to resupply and go and debrief with the BDU. Fantastic patrol this time. Lots of tonnage earned. An entire small convoy smashed, as well as picking off a couple of, well, one target from that larger convoy. Fortunately, the escorts saw that we uh, saw to it that we had no further impact upon that convoy. But um, not bad at all. Quite a nice bit of tonnage to report in and get it marked against the credit of our U-boat and our crew. It's fantastic. Right, so we're going to dock up and go and report to the BDU. And here we are in debriefing. So we award us 12,000 money and 66% reputation boost. Tonnage sunk 50,895 tonnes. 17 days, 18 hours at sea. Distance travelled 11,587.5 kilometres. Wow, so what do we sink? We sank the Empire Lad Empire Explorer Freighter for 5,692 tons. That was previously. This week we have sunk a C oh, it was a C3 freighter. I beg your pardon. No, no, we knew that, didn't we? That was the, that was the first one we saw in the big convoy for 7,824 tons. Uh, the Broomdale Dale class tanker for 11,015 tons. The Empire Lancaster, Liberty, oh, they were Liberty freighters. They weren't E3, uh, E5 three, E freighters, I beg your pardon. So the um, Empire Lancaster was sunk for 7,243 tonnes. Bit of a misidentification, although they're very similar. The Empire Lancelot, Liberty freighter for 7,236 tonnes. And the Mont Louis for Empire Tower freighter for 4,660 tonnes. Plus the Watkins F Nesbit. Liberty Freighter for 7,225 tonnes. Wow. So, we travelled the minimum distance of 2,250 kilometres in our patrol area. We had a task of sinking 7,000 tonnes. We've sunk 50,000. All in all, a blooming good mission. 
and we'll get the U-boat U764 refitted and ready to go next time. Uh, I think we'll see if we can get some uh, extra officers to do some research. A snorkel wouldn't go amiss now, I think. If we're getting laid into the war, we should have snorkel technology available, but uh, we may need to research it as well. Um, but yes, another successful mission. We will go again with U764 next time. Thank you so much for joining us on this week's patrol log. It's been a busy one, uh, but thankfully we survived and we took the rewards at the end as well. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.